Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app review for Combat Arms Zombies by Nexon Mobile. This application is in the games category as iOS Universal, working on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Currently sells for $4.99. Combat Arms Zombies is a first-person shooter game with limited levels of gameplay with numerous difficulty settings. It includes lots of upgrades. Let's jump right into the gameplay. There are only two main levels currently, Dark Sewers or Cabin Fever. Dark Sewer or Cabin Fever. It's kind of a fixed person, a fixed first person shooter. You can stay there at the window and then you can explore or venture out a little bit. But if you don't have a gas mask, you're going to croak if you go too far because of the gas fumes. And you don't really want to go out that far anyways because that's where the enemies are. So they come at you like that and then you take your gun and you tap on the bullet which is on the bottom right you can aim there there is no scope effect or sight which is a little disappointing because it's a it's a first person shooter game there are different zombies that are coming at you some that have suicide belt dynamite packs on them and i'm sure there are others in the farther levels this is at the easy shit setting just for the video and if you complete this in normal you'll actually get an unlock code from the website for uh, Nexon or the official Combat Zombies Ar Combat Arms Zombies website that'll give you some cash to buy in the shop items in this application. I don't know how much or what you have to do but you do have to complete it on normal mode to access that and, it, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Again there are a lot of different um, settings in here you have easy, medium, and hard. This is a fail for me here. I can't read that, and I have glasses. I mean, I don't. you need a magnifying glass to read that. Uh, the no sight part bothers me, uh, and I did set this last time here. This is a secondary area for ammo, um, and I set it, I used it, and it didn't replenish itself. So that's how it goes after each round, and they'll tell you. Round start. Round start. Sounds like WWF wrestling there. And you get started, and that's how it goes, and you again, you can position yourself, and again, you can go out. Out here if you want to get a little bit closer to the action head over here and just stand up and wait for this guy to come and then well you want to get him in the head that's really the that's really where it's effective because if you don't get him in the head it takes longer to kill him and it uses up more ammo and you only have so much ammo per round unless you're carrying a uh, backpack or you've upgraded to more ammo and so on. It's got nice graphics, no doubt, and it is a pretty worthy game. I like it, but the, what I don't like about it is some of the things are the, uh, the buttons are a little buggy for me and the shopping part is really weird and it's hard to equip your guy as well as reading the words and there's no kind of scope or sight closer which I would prefer so we'll tap out here the buttons are kind of small see I'm tapping trying to tap there we go tapped out of there go back to the main menu it is quick it's not laggy or buggy or anything like that but in here you'll see here welcome to combat arms tap on there and they'll give you the instructions for when you complete the game or the two campaigns which is there's two there's dark sewer and cabin fever if you complete them in normal mode which I believe is 20 levels each then you will get a code to buy some free stuff the shopping is in here it's just a little difficult to understand so you got the shopping in here you tap on primary and you can go through here and pick up different weapons again buy stuff through real world money this game already cost four ninety nine and i bought ninety nine cents worth of gold and it didn't give me a whole lot i got a hat for five grand a little cheap face mask and a couple of grenades couldn't upgrade a weapon if i wanted to upgrade a weapon that's all i could have done so when you tap on campaign you get this you can do the tutorial you can go through dark sewer and then you can select your level easy normal hard or hell you gotta complete hard to do hell complete hell to do infinity obviously infinity is going to be never ending i'm guessing we'll go back here and again you have cabin fever same thing cabin fever is a just a different setting but it's the same gameplay kind of a fixed first person shooter you have a little bit of area i'm guessing that if you purchase the gas mask it gives you a chance to explore out and venture out farther than where you're at that's it for combat arm zombies i like the game i think it needs some updating and uh, the price point they say it's 4.99 and that's the on sale price so it's going to go up from there which is you know kind of stunning until next time this has been crazy mike from crazy mike's app saying see ya